Today we're going to talk about how to put the shoulder rest on and how to hold the violin in rest position and then move it up to playing position. So the first thing that we need to do is um, get a shoulder rest and uh, if you think of a happy face, put it up like this, like a happy face and the violin upside down and then on, um, we hook one side in and then pull it across to the other side like that. Okay, so this one's a little bit loose because it's for actually for another violin. We'll try it on um, the other, the other shoulder rest. So upside, upside down violin, and slide it across, and you've got a happy face. Okay, so the next thing is the um, rest position. So the violin goes in your left hand, and it's best to hold the violin on the shoulder of the violin. That's right, and then you place it underneath your right arm. That's right, so that's rest position. And then when we're going to playing position, uh, I'll take the violin for here. The best thing for a beginner is to place your left hand on your right shoulder, and then the teacher or uh, a parent can bring the violin to the, to the student. So chin up, and right on top of the shoulder, Chin down and looking, looking down, looking down the strings towards the scroll, and then just safely test the instrument that it's um, safely in place and that it's not going to fall down. We could uh, count to ten: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it looks like it's going to stay there. Okay, you can take your arm down and just put your hand on the shoulder of the violin. So that's how to put a shoulder rest on uh, and then how to hold the violin in rest position and then bring it, out to, uh, bring it out to playing position. So we'll just show you once more. So rest position goes under the right arm and then bring it out in front of you to playing position. So bring it out in front of you, turn it upside down and then chin up and on the shoulder. That's right, and you can test it by putting your hand, um, putting your left hand on the other shoulder, and that's how you hold the violin.